You know, it seems that we make most of our decisions on autopilot because of habitual behaviors one has likely formed in childhood. Habits you didn't even decide to accept. Even if you didn't grow up without money, you could be sending that message to the world. Like striving for success no matter what the cost. Seems admirable, but is it really? Here's my list. Number 1. Buying expensive gifts The feeling of poverty can haunt a person their whole life, even if they have money now. They're often ashamed of their poor background. To show that their finances are now alright, they'll shower others in expensive gifts – pricey things they'd never buy for themselves. 2. Being impulsive Investing in unreliable startups and schemes often comes hand-in-hand hand with a poor mentality. These people subconsciously think they have nothing to lose, and they're bent on that one great investment that'll make them rich fast. Not that investing is bad – plenty of financially successful people do it. But they calculate the pros and cons – they don't do it impulsively. Plus, their investments don't leave them strapped for cash. That's the difference. 3. Keeping expired foods People with a poor upbringing might have had a shortage of food. So as adults, they can't bring themselves to throw it away, even when it's expired. This squirreling behavior can also spill into other areas of their lives. They might keep things others regard as trash. An old broken bicycle, clothes that no longer fit or are covered in stains, and the like. When you know a life with few material possessions, it's hard for you to part with the ones you have. 4. Spending money fast As soon as that paycheck gets deposited into the bank, it's gone before it could even get comfy. Sound familiar? Poor-minded people spend their money as quickly as possible because, deep down inside, they're afraid it'll disappear. They don't even realize they do it – it's instinctual. Instead of thinking about how to manage the money right or putting it into a savings account, they'll do things like 5. Making unnecessary purchases People who grew up in a difficult money situation often don't know much about financial planning. I mean, you can't decide what to do with your extra cash when you don't have any. As adults, this usually turns into making unnecessary purchases without thinking of the consequences. They want to show society they aren't poor anymore. A good example is taking out loans to buy all the latest gadgets and accessories you essentially don't need. Truly successful people rarely waste money on expensive items. When they do spend big, it's a must, like for investments. 6. Feeling guilty about freebies People who grew up in low-income families feel shame or offended when someone offers them something for free. They can regard this as a recognition of their poverty from other people. Here, have a free lunch at the company's expense because you're poor. That's obviously not the intention, but they might take it that way because of their personal complexes. Poor-minded people would rather pay for something because they want to show the world that they can afford it. Seeing a pattern here? 7. Avoiding auto payments People who grew up without money can't imagine having their funds taken away from them without their knowing it. That's not to say they don't make their payments. They just rather physically press the pay button themselves. They want to be in control of who takes their money and when. That, and they could be afraid that they might need this money for something else, like an emergency. That's also why they tend to make payments at the last minute. 8. Settling for jobs they don't like A person who grew up in poverty will work any job as long as it pays. They'll even master a profession they're not passionate about. A lot of it comes down to parents that desperately want their kid to become rich, so they choose promising professions for them in advance, even if the child doesn't like it. But how can you achieve success in a field you can't stand? Could have to do with… Number 9. The Endless Pursuit of Money Success doesn't necessarily mean rich, though it's nice when the two go hand in hand. For one person, success is all about having a happy, healthy family. For another, it's turning their passion into their profession. But for the poor-minded, success automatically means boatloads of money and expensive things. They want to be rich, and they'll do anything to achieve that. Sad thing is, it's a struggle when that's not where your interests lie. 
10. Procrastinating Here's the catch-22. The pursuit to become rich fast often leads people to procrastination, and you'll never make money if you're sitting around doing nothing. They might complain a lot or get tired waiting for the day when they have millions in the bank. And when you add the fact that they're not passionate about their work, it's hard to get motivated each day. 11. Panicking over the economy People can read the news and be horrified by predictions of economic recession and collapse. The fear that they're about to lose everything can keep them glued to the TV screen. Sure, it does sound scary enough. But if viewed objectively, their lives don't change all that much when the economy takes a dip. 12. Not planning the day ahead Write out an agenda for the day and stick to it. Don't make one just for the sake of having something written down. Approach this consciously. You need to understand clearly why you're doing this or that task. As soon as you realize this, you'll start seeing some order in your life, and you'll understand that time is the best investment. 13. Ignoring your health Working day and night, going without sleep, eating fast food on the go, all for the pursuit of your career and financial goals. They say, wow, what a hard worker! Sure, but how can you be successful if your hard work is breaking you down? Always take time for your health. It's much easier to work when you feel good. It's a habit among rich people to devote at least 30 minutes a day to financial fitness. Do this, and you'll get a boost of real productivity no cup of coffee can compete with. 14. Forgetting about self-development Truly successful people realize that they need to constantly learn something new. And there's nothing boring or academic about it. It can be fun. Try to do useful things when you come home from work. Take up a hobby. Sign up for a workshop. There are free ones, no shame in that. Improve your skills. Reading books is a favorite among the rich. 15. Getting up at the last minute Most successful people get up an hour, maybe two or even three, before they need to go to work. As for those who don't like their job, they get up at the last minute, have breakfast on the go, and get mad at themselves for being late. This is a big stress for the body, and you definitely won't have time for self-development in this mode. Try to take your time before work. Wake up earlier, do some exercises, read literature that's important to you. Draw up an action plan for the day, week, or even year. You'll come to work fresh and feeling on top of your game.